Oh, great. This is the webinar, uh, chat portion of the webinar. All right. Um, all right the next one's going to be on Sunday, this upcoming Sunday, and then we'll go to the following Sunday. And then we'll be back on a uh, regular schedule because the holiday, I was going to do it on Monday. So yeah, just do it on Sunday. So hopefully, um, hopefully I'm all right for all that. <clears throat> hopefully I have enough energy for everything. So, all right. Thank you for everyone for uh, posting your questions. All right, questions, calling the angels. All right. Um, uh, Pamela, are there any messages from my guides? Uh, just eat more properly. Eat, uh, drink more, more green, uh, something more green. Green and flower energies are good for healing at this time. <clears throat> yeah, if we need a flower somewhere. Uh, how many hybrid children do I have, and are there any messages? Uh, well, that's probably a lot, but I see three of them. Uh, two felines and one uh, human. <clears throat> and he is Pleiadian. Uh, felines are right, we're in. Uh, Carol, any messages for me? Uh, healing your heart chakra, getting more into your inner self. Uh, you're trusting yourself too more. Uh, you're connecting more to Archangel Gabriel recently. So you're going to a whole another energy path, a whole another direction. So you're just, it's time for a change. Question two, are there any messages from Mary Magdalene? I mean, I see you're going on a golden journey. Um, <clears throat> You know the fairy. I see you got Grimm's fairy tale. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, Red Riding. Is it Red Riding Hood? Yeah. Uh, you're during that time period, uh, German time period where that was created. So I believe that story uh, lived with you a couple of years. I'm not sure if you're big on that or not, but I see it around you, uh, like when it was invented. That was basically to keep you know <clears throat> stay safe from strangers, basically. Uh, Gundam, any messages from guides? Uh, yeah, you're just learning more. To, uh, let's see. I see Archon energies at this time. See my, you're facing them to learn more about them. I also see cube energies that are coming out of some of them. At least that's an astral. Some of it has knowledge. Some of it has a different reality connected to it. Uh, something that you're, you know, any messages from Prime Creator? <clears throat> you're doing a more of a high vibrational download at this time, and allow more um, talents to come in. So uh, continue with the illustrations, uh, things that you want to draw, stuff like that. Uh, Katie and dance, and in astral, as a human, I found myself in a church uh, building complex where they wanted to inject me with something, and I called you, oh, that's interesting, uh, on some common system. <coughs> And he calmly asked if I needed a way out while waiting when people were wondering why I spoke dog so well. And that, well, that's interesting. <laughs> and they were telling me how to speak the local language as to draw ten, less attention. That's it. All right, let me look at this again. Yeah, so it was kind of like a, <clears throat> like a test or astral trap. I believe it was another reality. Yeah, it was like a dog reality where canines are yeah, very vicious. And so the more that you're, it's like the more that you, you didn't seem like one of them, they're going to inject you. So the more that you are cool with them, they won't do anything from what it seems. Yeah, so you're like a foreigner. So it was like, yeah, it was like you're, I want to let's just say you came from Mexico. <clears throat> it's like you came from another, uh, into another dog realm and you didn't know what was going on. That's fascinating. It's something like that. You came from another place and that's fascinating. <clears throat> I think it was a real reality. I don't think it was just a dream. So, <clears throat> I think it was pretty intense because you thought you were like, you're good. It wasn't gonna look good, so that's neat. That's fascinating. Yeah, I feel a lot of energy with the canines. Is you know, obviously there's a lot of positive, but there's also a lot of viciousness. Like, like with the Dobermans, like damn, I'm gonna kick your ass. So, anyway, question two. Any other messages? Um, now, this is your opening up. 
more your heart chakra here. <clears throat> Shows that you're ready to go into the next level of your uh, experience. And it, yeah, it's vicious. It's like your, you know, your heart needs healing. And what seeing that helps you heal. So it's a major, uh, so it's a major, it's a major situation there. All right, so yeah, Marianne, any messages from me? You're going into a more higher astral with angels. Oh, here, I'll be put this out there. I did a, I did a spirit guide clearing today. I got tired of the path of going, you know, same going nowhere. I did a clearing. I should, I'm gonna make a video about it. And I felt that Anunnaki, so this is for some bringing it up. Kind of Anunnaki guy came in. I'm not sure about the Anunnaki. I'm like kind of worried about them here and there, but I'm letting it kind of, I'm just, I'm not concentrating on that. I'm just letting it flow. And so far, it's been better. <clears throat> so, and that, you know, you come to a, a place where things aren't, going anywhere and you throw out your guides trust me i've been trying to get clear them out for a long time you also have to go through your own tests here to bring it to a direction of bringing in somebody better so you get more clear connections so sorry i had to bring that up. i had to bring that up it just it sure reminded me of that so so um i don't remember what i just said earlier <laughs> better question I also see you're connected to a heart. I do see you're connected to cupids. Um, now, there's different types of cupids. There's a job cupid. There's a cupid for love. There's a cupid for family relationships, not just an intimate relationship. And I feel like you're connected to all of them in different ways. So, if everything like, I'm going to shoot my arrow, my arrow at you for job creation. <laughs> Uh, something to think about. I could shoot like you have a friend. I'm looking for a job. Here I was. I'll shoot you an arrow for abundance and see what happens. You might find a quarter somewhere. Who knows? <clears throat> you know, I, I think that's kind of like putting a spell on somebody, but hopefully it's more like a good. I don't think it's putting a spell. I think it's putting a good vibration out. So I would think so. As long as don't put spell intentions out there. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Just like it's like sending you goodwill, sending you good, you know, vibrations. For my Cupid energy, I'll send you energy for that. Hopefully, you find a job. You know, look at it from that point of view and see where that is. It could be a surprise. You'd be surprised. Any messages from Mother Mary? Yeah, it does seem like you're getting like a, this is going to sound weird, like a soul injection, like a, an energy injection of goodwill towards others. Because you do goodwill, you send goodwill to others. And that's obviously not easy for many to do goodwill to others. Uh, it doesn't, you know, there's a honking at people. Sometimes you need to do that, but you know, you don't have to go out and save the world on everyone, but the more goodwill you, I vibration put out there, you'd be surprised you pull in. So, um, yeah. So basically just be yourself. All right. Down our rigs. Hello. All right. Uh, no, this is a long one. Uh, three weeks ago, I had emergency surgery to remove a large orange size cancerous tumor. Act scary. Fit in my artery. I went from two to the orange to three weeks. I was really going to blow off the CAT scan, but some, yeah, don't blow off anything right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's good. I originally was going to blow off the CAT scan, but something in my head said, what else are you doing? You could be doing so go, go. So it would have saved my life as it would have burst and I would have bled to death. And there would be no symptoms at all. Who was it? Well, yeah, it's a spirit guide, yeah. Well, it was your angel and your spirit guide. Yeah. It's like that, yeah. So so it looks like your guides come in when they fully need to interject. So you're mostly in charge, uh, for the most part. But you don't always allow them to tap in. But it's uh, your guides and spirit and your angels. But obviously, your spirit guide energies. Now, what their name is, you'll have to ask them. 
My husband's going to uh, to have stem cell replacement in January. How do you see that? Go, oh, it'll be going fine. We do at work, we do, well, we used to do video on that uh, for stem cell, you know, like surgery or something like that. Yeah, that's good. <clears throat> as long as that place has good reviews and everything, it should be fine. Yeah. Uh, uh, Kevin, any messages from my astral wife? Uh, let's see. Uh, I just see a lot of archangels around her at this time. So I want to say she's testing you of how far you would go in your direction. So she's learning through you on what you're, so you bring a lot of stuff in to cause kind of, I want to say trouble, but you know, situations for you to grow. So, um, yeah. She's just there to warn through you, basically. Sometimes you want to show, uh, show her off, basically. I look what I want through. So, I think you're kind of cool on that, though. It's like, you're not going to put yourself to too much. What relation do I have to Earth Angels? When I meditate and open my chakras, or Kundalini energy, is this me connecting to Guy? Yeah, Earth Angel. Well, I believe you are very much an Earth Angel vibration on various levels. Um, you're here to learn more about Gaia and teach it to other alien beings. So it's like you're relearning the earth. So you can, cause you want to teach it new to the, to the alien beings. Uh, Amy, uh, Amy, I've been renewed. A renewed interest in learning SSP secret space program. Super soldiers can tell me why I, why oh yeah so you must be doing more there recently so it's a healing part of yourself too even i'm still learning about it i don't get all the information i think nobody does you know just take in the information that you feel like resonates with you even if it's fictionalized i mean they say it's truth but some of it is fictionalized but still has some relevant information there there's something there so just take it all in it's not gonna hurt you let's put it that way it's like the new religion, yeah, but there is some healing factors there. So it's to help you, you know, heal with this planet. So it's it is taking you off planet though, which is good. I just learned about the meditation cube called Zeo Zen Master. How much would this help me in healing and develop my psychic abilities? Well, if you want to pay that uh that's up to you i mean because of the price tag i would say it's not worth it but if you have that type of money i don't think it's gonna i don't think it's gonna do a lot but if you got the money to throw out throw around like that go for it but to be honest with you i would just get regular regular crystals I'm gonna waste my time with that, but I'm not getting exactly the best feeling on that. To be honest with you, yeah, it's not worth it. I mean, like I said, if you have money to you do that, go for it. But seeing how you probably don't, I think you can just get regular crystals. I mean, I get stuff from Amazon or uh, Etsy, and uh, you know, I got you know pyramid from Amazon. I found you know, so you know. Yeah, so anyway. Uh Donna Riggs, uh let's see this, uh, this is another question. I just received news of the death of my nephew, Brian. Mom passed one. I received death from of my nephew's Brian's mom passed alone while in her sleeping apartment around Thanksgiving. No one knows for sure. Can you tell me if anything about this family? Well, yeah, obviously she was ready to roll out. Uh, she's had enough. Um, I think it was around more near the holidays somewhere. Yeah, she was happy to go though. I think it was a perfect time to to quietly leave. So she didn't want people around her to to keep her here. That's why she did that. So she's fine. I think she's a lot happier now. She's did everything she's here to do though. 
for the most part. She wishes she could make more people happy, but that's up to them. It's not her more. Maggie, any messages from my brother Roberto's higher self? Um, uh, do more. Be more active in whatever you feel is comfortable. But be it's good to get out more and do more things for yourself. Yeah. Whatever it is. You don't have to go meet everybody, but go do things. It feels like he's not really feel like it's kind of stuck. Any messages messages from my son's higher self? <clears throat> well, I think you I mean, I think your son should meditate. <laughs> but I'm not sure if he's into that. But I do recommend it for him. Uh, close his eyes, ask the angels to come through, have a have a candle by, and just relax. I'm not sure how old he is. I don't know a story on that, but Miles, do I have any messages from uh Atlanteans? Yeah, you've been kind of do more with astral astral with. So you're bringing in knowledge slowly with them. So if you look around where you are or think about it more. They're around you a lot. So you might start picking up on their vibrations of wherever it needs to be. Any messages from the Zetas? You're going more into yourself. And that's where the Atlantean knowledge came out. Yes, your Atlantean in your past is a very freedom fighter, meaning that you were a healer, a you were many, many a developer, you could fly. Uh, you developed a lot of crystal energies. Uh, but you felt like the world can do more, and here we are. I think you foresaw our current reality, but you felt it was unnecessary. I see you kind of fighting a lot of the um, feelings too. And Ara, why do I, why have I been surrounded by controlling women lately? They really get on my nerves and I'm trying to stay positive, it's not easy. You're going more, uh, internally so they're kind of like archon energies around you so you're going yeah it's just a test uh there is some kind of there you're you're strengthening your inner self they're doing a lot they're trying to weaken you so you're actually getting stronger but they're trying to, to test you to shut you down it's just it'll only make you stronger in the long run any messages for thaw uh you're going to more of the higher realms you're 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 releasing third dimension and you're going more to fourth. That's another reason why they see it. So those women coming around, you've seen more light coming through you. So, all right, Thad, thank you for the healing. Thank you. Thank you for the glitter. <laughs> Eric, and I feel like if nothing good happens within the next few years, I'm then, I'm then leaving my post. I'm not, it's not boring, but something I don't like. It's always being thrown at me or getting in my way. Does spirit have that? Well, you're kind of in the same boat as I am. Uh, yeah, no, that's good. You're setting your boundaries. You're moving good. No, you're doing. I don't know what's going to occur, um, but yeah, this is. So keep thinking about that. Keep manifesting what you need to manifest. Yeah. So you know, you're you're you, this is right. Yeah, you got to make a stand. What you feel is not right and do what is right so that's good uh do the angels have any messages for me where well, you're, you're yeah you're coming to a turning point so it's up to you to pull in what needs to be pulled in but take yeah you're taking time with it which is good so you're kind of you're manifesting it right now and that's a major so keep doing what you're doing uh, Susie, I was in a car accident two days ago. I was lucky to walk away from it. Are there any messages for me? Well, this is showing that you're, you're kind of great. Yeah. You're really doing a, a major shift. So it looks like you're shifting out of the third dimension, going to more of the fourth dimension and showing that now realize you're in this situation, but also can manifest more positive to come in. And that's, you're testing yourself to make this a better situation. Yeah, it will happen. Just believe. I know it's hard. I know. I mean, obviously, one thing's happened sooner, like now, instead of waiting. But it, I'm not saying it's going to be fast. That's the problem. That's the thing. Nothing happened. But you never know. 
I mean, tell you know, you got to tell your guides and angels, everybody, get this going now. Yeah, as soon as I can. See, what I do is I nag them to death. It's like I don't like what you're doing. Get your ass together. I just fired the guides, so you know, I don't care. <laughs> it's like, uh, and I did feel all querying. So, yeah. any mess what I've been doing astral, yeah, changing things. Like I said, you're you're. It's now time for you to manifest. I'm not sure what exactly you're going to manifest because obviously it's up to you. But I know this isn't easy, but sometimes the uneasiness makes us stronger, as you know. So, Jennifer, any messages for me concerning my work? <laughs> be careful what you say. <laughs> be be really careful what you say. Uh, but it is good to, uh, um, you know, do what you feel there. I mean, just follow your instincts. Yeah, follow your intuition. Yeah, part of you wants to get everybody's attention, kind of take control of the situation, but become more of a leadership position. I don't have only so much detail here, but I think you are capable of a leadership position, uh, but... Just be careful what you're saying, that's all. It's good to talk, but be careful. Any messages for me at this time? I mean, I see like taking it easy on yourself. Sometimes you're hard on yourself. Oh, sometimes you're like, oh, why I did that? Why I made that mistake? It feels like it's part of you is like really getting on you from mistakes. You gotta, it's like less beating on yourself more. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain that, but just don't be so hard on yourself. It seems like you are on certain levels. And these are starting shifting. Just what energies, beings have been around me, most prominent me uh, lately, a uh, few lines. Positive few lines from hmm, Egyptian area. That's different. Uh, yeah, Egyptian, I got Nazareth. Nazareth, where is that? Is that that's somewhere in Jerusalem? That's different. <laughs> I don't normally see it. Yeah, I'll just leave it with that. See what you feel about that area. You, you never know. I don't think it's manipulation. Something's coming. What messages does my higher self, Madeline, have for me at this time? Just drink more water. Um, special, spiritual incense will come to you. Uh, just, you don't know what to do. Just continue in the path you're in right now. Things will, things will look up over time. Uh, one to 11 uh, do you know if this earth has two other moons that we cannot see from earth yeah I think so somewhere they're not easy for us to see they don't want us I think we have two suns maybe three suns uh, so two other moons I can see that they're really I don't think they're in our dimension uh, they're not in our I don't think they're here for us to see them. They're in, I think they're in another dimension. But they, they do kind of slip through a little bit. But I don't think, I don't think they're in our physical third dimension. May I have a message from another Earth? Uh, at a lifetime where you can walk on water as a female during biblical times. Obviously, it's probably another reality. But it doesn't matter. You're also, yeah, telekinesis abilities. You have all the abilities of any type of powerful being. As a female, as whatever you want to be. Uh, but it's another reason why you came here, to, to balance the earth in your own way. Everyone's balancing it in certain ways. Yours is, I believe you're kind of facing Mother Earth and kind of helping her through her ordeals, as many are. Uh, not everybody does that. Um, it is, you have conversations with Mother Earth a lot. And some might think Mother Mary is Mother Earth. <laughs> no surprise, right? <laughs> no surprise. That was different. That's a new revelation. Might do a video on that one. That was fascinating. 
Uh, Vasco, last Thursday morning, I couldn't sleep and my heart was racing. I feel like a vortex around me around 10 to 15 minutes. My heart went back to normal. Is this a healing, visitation, or both? Is there a message? I think you just came off a ship. Yeah, you just came out of a, a galactic meeting and your body was still coming back into your body. Your body was kind of balancing and you kind of went nuts. So, well, not entirely, but you know, yeah, so you're doing a, a cleanse. So I feel like yeah, yell. We were visiting. Now, I'm not sure how well that went. <laughs> but I think you're like a more of a Venus being. Vasco makes sense, too. I mean, you can't do the world. I think you're more of like a Venus type of being, though. Any messages from me? Uh, yeah, I remember there's a, uh, I don't know if you're aware of that uh, alien being the, uh, the that was in our government. The guy from Venus. I forgot his name. I don't know. There, there is an actual person like that. You look on like the the man from Venus and connected to our government. I can't remember. It's Val Val something Val Thor. So, I think I don't know if you have a connection with him or not, but possibly. I see a lot of feline energies at this time. So yeah, so that connection was twenty twenty. That vortex thing was a twenty twenty preparing. So. I'm not sure what's going on yet with that, but you're you're just sh shifting out third dimension slowly. That's all I get. Yeah, uh, they're not gonna tell me anything. Just you're just yeah. <clears throat> they'll just take it as that. They're not going into details on that one, so they kind of shut me up. All right, all right. Thank you, everyone. Blessings. Uh, next one is uh, Sunday. This coming up. All right. Take care. Right. Happy holidays. Uh, share some love to the turkeys. All right, take care.